Hey guys, so I wanted to sit down and make a video about basically what's going on in the world because um, recently, well okay, so if you don't know what's going on, basically the Black Lives Matter movement has gained a lot of recognition on social media within the last week or two and I didn't upload last week because I didn't think it was appropriate, I don't want to be insensitive. I'm worried that this is just going to be a trend for some people and let's be real change is not going to happen overnight this has been going on for literally hundreds of years and it's going to take if you want to be committed to the black lives matter movement it's going to take a lot of commitment and being someone that is white i understand my privilege in this country i understand that my skin color is never going to set me back in life and i I think like this last week, if you're continuing to, someone that is white, continue to absorb all of this information, it's very easy to just burn out. I think, okay, I think I'm just trying to get at that it is very important to sustain your activism throughout your whole life. So in this video, I'm going to go through ways that I am going to sustain my activism through the rest of my life because this, I'm in it for the long run. So I'm going to go through a list. I have a list right here of ways that I am going to continue to support the movement and um, hopefully you guys will be inspired and you guys can maybe um, also participate in the things that I'm going to be doing. So maybe you guys can give me ways that you are going to continue supporting this movement uh, for the rest of your life too. But before I get into this video, I just want to say for the whole month of June, I will be donating all of my YouTube AdSense money to two organizations. Um, and I'm telling you guys this because I don't want you to skip the ads and I'm going to be putting more ads in my videos throughout the month. Um, and then I... We'll donate all of that money. I'm going to be splitting the money equally and so the first place that I'm going to be donating to is the Pride Foundation and June is Pride Month so happy Pride Month everyone. <laughs> so all of the money that I make in June through AdSense will go, half of it will go to the Pride Foundation and then the other half I am, I'm not sure and I want you guys to comment down below organizations that you um, would like to, me to donate to well we're donating together so if you're watching these videos these videos throughout the month of June you are contributing to these donations so I want you guys to be involved I want it to be an organization that supports the Black Lives Matter movement so if you guys have an organization that you have in mind that would be that you really love let me know down below I don't mind supporting a very large organization but I know a lot of them have been receiving an overwhelming amount of money so I don't know maybe it would be better if we support a smaller organization um so I don't know let me know what you guys think I'll definitely let you guys know what we decide collectively on uh before I make that donation but just want to let you guys know make sure you watch all the ads <laughs> let's talk about sustaining our activism through the rest of our lives <laughs> um so Sorry, I keep looking down because I have notes. So I think the first thing that is really important is educating your younger family members. Um, that is our future generation. And, you know, I wish my parents talked to me more about race growing up. My parents never really talked to me about it. And I wish they did because I feel like your childhood really mold you as a person, you know? To so talk to your little cousins, your younger siblings, I mean obviously talk to everyone but i think it's really really important to talk to your younger family members younger maybe younger friends i don't know something else that i think is really important is maybe possibly being able to turn your one-time donation into a monthly donation and this is something that i'm going to do and i don't know why i wasn't doing it before i'm not sure if i want to support the same organization every month i might diversify where i am donating monthly um but i think that's something even if it's just like five dollars i mean i know this isn't feasible for everyone so don't feel bad if you can't donate monthly i don't know maybe just see if there's something you can cut out in your life like i don't know do you go to starbucks every weekend you know that could be a donation something else that is really important is supporting brands to support your values um this has been something i have looked into recently because you guys know I've been I've become really passionate about sustainability within the last couple of months and I always research brands before buying into them. I love to support local shops. I like to support smaller businesses. I always look into 
wear the clothing items if it's a clothing brand where those items are being made i feel like people just don't understand how important their purchasing power is and i would just rather support a company that makes things like that just values what i value you know so that is something that's really important to me um the next thing i wrote down is you can vote and i know this is just very simple and not everyone can vote but if you can vote make sure you are voting um it is just so important to vote and i hate when people tell me that oh it's just one vote like it doesn't matter if i don't vote i if <laughs> if everyone said that then no one would vote like it really does your one vote really does matter and maybe you can go vote with your friends like take make it a thing with your friends go vote with your friends go vote with your family members go together i don't understand how people can say that i've had a couple people say to me oh it doesn't matter if i buy fast fashion i'm just one person and if people just like if everyone thought that way there would be no changes in the world you know so vote please vote if you can if you guys don't know i just graduated so i'm going to be looking for jobs whenever i go back to new york city and i really want to work in an environment that is very diverse that's something that's very important to me my friends and i came up with a great way to ask how diverse basically your office is without just saying that directly because i don't know i wanted to make it more we wanted to make it more professional so, so this is what i'm going to say to my future interviewers Diversity is really important to me. How does your company ensure a well-rounded perspective? So I feel like that's just a great way of like kind of asking how diverse is your office? Even if you don't get the job, maybe the person would be like, wow, our office really isn't diverse. That's something maybe we need to work on. So that's really important, I think. And then I um, simply just have support Black-owned businesses. Restaurants, bookstores, clothing brands, there have been so many resources circulating recently on instagram of black owned bookstores black owned restaurants just all these different amazing lists and if i mean i would hope <laughs> that you live somewhere where there are black owned businesses but if you don't because i know that's definitely a possibility um you can maybe support them by you know looking up like GoFundMes around you of like different black owned businesses in like your state or something like that and supporting them by donating. I actually bought a couple books about race recently and I was gonna just buy them off of Amazon because I thought that was the easiest way I could get the books in sooner than later because I wanted to get them in before I go back up to New York and I was just like oh I'll just buy them off of Amazon but I really I was like I just don't feel right buying them off of Amazon. And then the next day, I found uh, like a list on Instagram that said 10 plus, I think it was like 10 plus black owned online bookstores, which that's so amazing. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'll link down below where I bought my books. I believe it was called Mahogany Bookstore, but that's just something so simple you could do because I was going to buy the books anyways. Sorry, my camera shut off, but I actually created a list of like 50 plus black owned New York City based clothing brands and i'll have a link to that in the de the description box i cannot talk today i'm so sorry i'll have a link to that in the description box um i chose new york city just because i lived in new york for four years and also new york city has been hit so so bad by covid19 and a lot of these businesses since they're based in new york city had to shut down you know manufacturing and stuff like that for months and a lot of them are suffering so i just would rather support um those businesses right now but you don't have to support just new york city based brands like you can support brands black owned businesses around the world um but this was just i just really wanted to at least make a list of new york city brands because then i can visit there a lot of them have stores in new york city and i can go to their stores as well also for restaurants me and my friends actually have decided that we want to eat at a black owned restaurant at least once a month at least once a month and there are so many options in new york city thankfully that we can do that and um 
I actually was recommended this amazing app too if you guys are interested that has 2,500 black owned restaurants on it and you can it's like basically uber eats for black owned restaurants which is amazing someone told me about it I have a link down below for that app it's called eats okra One thing I saw someone say is it's easiest to sustain your activism through your passions and as you guys know I'm very passionate about fashion and this could be any passion for you fashion beauty other passions in life um but you guys know recently sustainability has become really has become one of my passions and with sustainability one of the pillars is social equity I just couldn't believe in the fast fashion industry how people were being treated and that it's just like people think i guess it's okay and i i just don't understand it and it's a lot of people of color and black people being treated and unfairly and are putting these awful working conditions and are suffering the consequences of fast fashion in my sustainability class we learned a lot about environmental racism and how black people were most likely to live near landfills and exposed to more pollution and just like your race really determines where you live in america i found this statistic online it says Environmental racism has left black people three times more likely to die from pollution. This is just one of the reasons I became so passionate about sustainability and I want to continue to learn because I I just don't want to support brands that think this is okay. So maybe try, if you're passionate about beauty, uh, just try to support maybe black owned beauty brands and figure out like where are they manufacturing those beauty products and the big corporations like where are they manufacturing their products i don't know a lot about the beauty industry so i can't speak on that i have a sustainability highlight on my instagram page of brands that um are ethically made use sustainable materials and stuff like that if you guys are interested in finding more sustainable brands so something on instagram where it said that if you're an influencer and you're going to events and stuff like that you should always ask for the list of the people going and if the list is all white people then maybe you should not go to that event or like recommend black creators so moving forward i'm going to ask for the list before attending events and we live in new york city there's no reason why i should go to an event and it be all white people you know so that is something i'm going to do moving forward and then i am going to continue to educate myself um I, I feel like everyone's just been saying that recently like continue to educate yourself and i have learned so much in the last week i have been listening to the 1619 which is a podcast i watched 13th on netflix i'm actually going to rewatch it because i just feel like there's so much information in it that i want to rewatch it and make sure I didn't miss anything. I've watched one episode of When They See Us on Netflix. I want to continue watching that. Um, it is really eye-opening. And also, I've been just watching different videos on YouTube. Jane Elliott is amazing. I That woman is so... Like, I just want to talk to her and I just want to learn from her. She did an anti-racism exercise on Oprah. And like the 70s or the 90s sometime like that and it was just so eye-opening we need more Janes in the world like I want to be Jane Elliott I also have like educate others around you it is so important <laughs> to educate our family members and just our friends I truly believe knowledge is power and the more well-informed you are on a subject the more well-informed your conversations will be with other people and i sometimes i like talk to my family members and stuff and i just feel like i'm not getting through to them and i feel stuck if i was just more well informed on the subject i could have better conversations and just teach them more so i i don't know it's just i want to continue to educate myself i actually was looking into going to an anti-racism uh class in new york city they actually have them and i want to go to like panels and workshops and classes about this kind of stuff because i feel like i learn the best in those kind of environments i think i'm learning is the hardest part because you know you think things are okay and you think it's okay to say things and do things for so many years that unlearning is just 
so important to understand like why things aren't okay you need to correct yourself or tell yourself like you're doing something wrong which can be very hard um so that's something that i need to continue to work on too and i don't know if this video was helpful or not i'm probably missing things i told myself when i graduated i wanted to make more content that was important to me on things that were important to me like sustainability and just because like okay i can do a haul i can do routines i can do all these things like beauty fashion like i love those things yeah but like does it really matter like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day you know like those things really don't matter and like i i don't know i would just rather use my platform to educate you guys and talk about things that really matter to me i don't know it's just like why do i even have a platform this stuff really doesn't matter at the end of the day and i'm not going to stop doing those types of videos i just want to do more videos about things that are important to me um so yeah i'm definitely going to moving forward do videos about things that are more important to me and hopefully you guys will like those kind of videos and i'm probably forgetting things but i will link a bunch of resources down below for you guys um i will link a bunch of places you can donate down below for you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i love you guys all so much